Hey naughty boys and girls, here's 5 tips for playing Mafia 1. Starting with number 5. Picking a version. This physical copy is version 1.0 and it's considered the best by many fans, because a lot of good things were later patched out, such as the animated eyeballs, which made many scenes feel much more alive. This Steam version is free right now for a few days only, but it goes on sale for just a few dollars very often. If you own that version, you can easily downgrade it to 1.0, if you want to. To do that, just visit the speedrunning website, the link in description, then use both of these patches at the bottom. Then all you have to do is open your game directory, then drag and drop it in. Also make sure to set the game exe to run as administrator. If you have a physical copy, you can also use this game exe file to launch it without a CD inserted. This will also solve the launch error on modern systems. This is also known as a no CD fix. It all went well. Sure boss, he's a natural. Before they could say gunolis, they were wheelless. And before they could recover, we were gone. Morello is probably pretty pissed right now. Really? And before they could recover, we were gone. Morello is probably pretty pissed right now. Really? I'm glad to hear it. He's one tough customer. In that case, welcome to the family, Tommy. You've passed the first it's test. It's an honor, sir. Number four. The widescreen fix. Mafia is a low-spec game that even runs on Windows 98, so you can see that it has this Nintendo 64 draw distance fog, and also the FPS is capped at 60. This mod fixes all of that in one go. Link in the description. Again, it's just drag and drop, but you do not need this one exe file. If you keep the original one, it's better because this one can get in the way and you don't even need it. Then use this one to set your values. 3900 is close to the maximum, but you can do it whatever you want. And I like to set the FPS just a bit higher than 60, but if you set it too high, you might encounter bugs. Number 3. The Music Fix All digital versions have removed every piece of licensed music, so downgrading to 1.0 should automatically restore it, but it's good to know this extra step just in case. Again, it's just easy as drop, dragging and dropping into your directory. Link in the description. Number 2. The Shadow Fix Flickering textures like shadows and blood are a common issue on modern systems, but easily patched with this mod right here. This is a DirectX converter that will um, stop the flickering. Again, it's just drag and drop. Link in the description. Uh. 
Number one, improving the graphics and fixing lag. Make sure to run Mafia 1 on a good hard drive. I used to play on an external drive, but when I reinstalled it to my internal drive, that completely eliminated frame skipping and lag. On low resolutions, this game has a lot of jagged edges because of bad anti aliasing. I recommend turning DSR on in the NVIDIA control panel. Just go to DSR and check every box. This will let you run any game you want in 4K, even on a smaller monitor. If you don't want to do that, you can at least turn on some extra anti-aliasing for smooth edges, but this isn't really needed if you're running it in 4K. I made this list so you can pick and choose what you want, but if you want everything on this list, I've compiled it all into one package called the Boys Essential Fixes. Link in the description. Mafia 1 really is a hidden gem that gets discarded by many for having some rough edges, but I believe its brilliance more than makes up for it. And I hope these tips will help you to fully enjoy the Mafia 1 experience. Make sure to check out my range of Mafia content and give me a subscribe if this was helpful to you.